Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Rule of the Waves. Now I do apologize that if you're watching this you know, live as the series airs that there's a, a, a big lag between episodes, I believe 13 and 14. Um, a bunch of stuff got in the way. My birthday came up which uh, knocked a recording day out of the week and then Christmas was right after that and then um, I, uh, uh, I was playing with my dog and she knocked her head into my chin and I bit my tongue and I had a lisp for like three days so I couldn't record and then I got sick and you might be able to hear that in my voice right now I'm still a little bit croaky um, so just a whole ton of stuff got in the way and I wasn't able to record but I'm feeling well enough for it right now so we are going to get back into this a little bit now uh, because it's been a solid probably two weeks since I've sat down and played this game I don't remember where we are I do remember that we're at war with the United States. Um, it just, just, just happened. And I don't even remember what my ships are. I, I, I honestly don't. I know I have nice destroyers. I remember um, building up these nice destroyers that actually have proper super firing turrets now. And uh, loaded down with, with torpedoes. These guys, I believe, are the old, the old ships that have been recently redesigned. I believe... Let's see, they have the, yes, we have um, double cross-deck fire turrets, 11-inch guns. Now, it, I don't remember, hang on, let's look at the view design, no, not view design. Um, uh, view design for rebuild, okay, this is what I want to see right here. Cross-deck fire, but we do not have increased elevation on these guys, which means they are going to have relatively limited range. So, uh, gun data. So we have a maximum range of 19,000 yards. Increased level elevation gives you... That's actually not that big of a difference. Wow. 19,000 to... 20, so that barely gives me a difference there. Uh, redesigned. All right. We have the Thomas T, which was uh, that proper battleship that we, we built. And then it got involved in a battle with the French and just was immediately wrecked. But... Um, we upgunned it. it had, I think it only had 11 or 12 inch guns before. We rebuilt it with fewer guns and then turrets, but it has four, you know, decent quality. For I believe they're quality zero, 14 inch guns. Um, and then we have the Hakan here, which is a proper, proper battleship. Uh, it's got 10 14 inch guns, 18 6 inch guns, and then a tertiary uh, armament of, thir of 16 3 inch guns. And the reason why these, these have such heavy secondary and uh, tertiary armament is that I don't have a lot of them. My fleet isn't, is, isn't as large as other ships, as other nations, I mean. If I had, um, if my large ships were in a large fleet like the uh, United States or, or even the French or the British, uh, where, where they had a lot of ships, I probably would um, not have them try to be jack-of-all-trades like this. But because these guys might be operating alone, I wanted to make sure they had decent armament. And we have very nice firing directors. Now, what do we have under construction? Let's refresh our memory. Um, we have the Robert E. Lee and the Albert S. Johnson, uh, which are being rebuilt right now. Um, these were the... Kind of the, to the, the, the the Thomas T class, yeah. Um, they're being rebuilt. They're almost done. I have a run of destroyers that are a year out, though. So let's make sure we have our submarine. How many ships do we... How many submarines do we have? We have a decent amount of submarines and my laying submarines. So let's put them on unrestricted submarine warfare. Um, we won an astounding victory, apparently. I do not remember it, but we won an astounding victory. And let's see. What do we got? We have... Uh, how many of the patrol fulfillment? 17, so we got that. Uh, Coastal Patrol. Coastal Patrol. Oh, I got my, I got, I got my old destroyers on Coastal Patrol. That's what it is. I have all these old destroyers. Um, Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean. Got Roxora and the Zaius. So the Zaiuses are, let's see... I don't I actually, I have to remind, I'm going over these because I don't remember what I built. These guys are brand new. Um, center firing six inch, six center firing six inch guns. Man, it's, I, I think this is a beautiful design on a light cruiser here. I gotta say, I love this. Um, six, inch, six inch guns and single turrets all down the middle. And then we've got uh, quad, um, quad torpedo tubes. Uh, quad, 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 quad. 
um, on the sides there. I really love this design, and then it's got this powerful secondary battery. So if it get, you know, th these guys, if they get in uh, close, I mean, they could like one of these could run through an enemy convoy and just rip it to shreds. Um, and it's got a decent speed too. So uh, American Northeast, Southeast Asia, these guys are out there, the Jaegers, these. Weird designed, uh, I, you know, I didn't put any superstructure designs in there because they're not really necessary. It's just kind of for, for poops and giggles. But you can see they've these guys are a little bit older. Um, we have raiders set up. Good. And we have coastal patrol set up. That's approved two-inch guns. I don't think I've ever used them before. We sank 13 ships but lost three subs. Enemy submarine sunk a minesweeper in a spirited gun duel. Torpedoed and sunk the DD William Mason. Hopefully that wasn't a new one. Uh, I think it must have automatically taken it off. Ship, uh, minesweeper. One U.S. submarine was sunk. U.S. ship. Okay, okay. So this is this is a sing this is a single action a, si a single single column with. Uh, what is this? I say I don't. Even, I don't even remember what my own. It's been so long since I played. I don't remember what my own designs are. Okay, right click. Um, the chi, this is the Chi class, four five inch guns. So it's got. I, I built it with five inch guns in two dual turrets, and then the fourteen four inch guns in sing, single turrets, and it's got twelve above water. So. A triple, a triple, a triple, and a triple. Okay. Um, I, I believe... Is this... Was this the only ship of its class that I built? Is it control click? It is. Okay, so... Squad max. Ooh, we're already opening fire, and... Uh, five six-inch guns. Oh, my God. Uh, so this, this thing's primary armament is bigger than ours. Um, but its secondary armor it, armament is much weaker. It's a little bit slower. No, it's the same speed, sorry. And it's got nothing in terms of um, torpedo tubes comparatively. So we are going to see if we can get in close with this thing and get that, uh, that nice spirited gun duel going. All right, so they scored the first hit. Nothing yet. Two near misses on me. Hang on, let's put this on. Can't really see what's going on here. Only one of our turrets is, is in action right now. But we did score a hit. Scored another hit. Our five-inch guns. Ooh, nice. We actually lowered its speed. So let's uh, turn to the north a little bit. See if we can't get our, our other turret and... Ugh. In action. Engine room hit. So they hit our engine room. Fresno hit. Fresno hit. And the the four inch guns are getting into this now too. So I believe it said 15 knots. Oh yeah. So we both hit each other. Fresno hit with a five inch gun. Five inch gun and a four inch gun. It's turning away. Turn with it. Make sure it's no. It's 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 going fast now. Uh, Twenty knots. Fifteen knots. All right, hit it. What is the? So I about to say torpedo range is. Where's my torpedo range? Why am I not seeing it? All right, it's slowed way down now, so we are just gonna. Oh no, um, we are gonna move. We're gonna take a turn here. Uh, we launched our torpedoes. Looks like they missed. We launched. We only launched two. And I'm gonna take a swing down this way. Get a torpedo off. We're taking hits still, but we're kind of lighting it up. I'm not getting. I don't. I'm not giving myself good 
angles on the torpedoes, but I'm not giving them good angles on the torpedoes either. And it looks like all but one of their turrets is out of action, so. Yeah, they've they they've hit my engines pretty good, but we're we're lighting them up now. Wow. Um, threaded the needle with that one. Uh, one torpedo to the left, one torpedo to the right. And now the four inch guns are lighting this guy up. Right, so we're gonna turn up this way. It's got submerged torpedo tubes, so they're probably not damaged. But I'm gonna risk it, see if we can get a nice angle on our torpedoes. Uh, they may have not been loaded. On this side. Yeah, we got this guy. How many tons was this ship? Uh, 50. So we were... Do oh, there we go. Man! Stationary target, and we missed. Alright, there we go. Uh, so medium damage to our light cruiser, but we sunk their light cruiser. I'm going to chalk that up as a victory. Took out to the Minneapolis. Uh, we need a couple more ships on patrol, which means uh, we need to build some more minesweepers. Uh, well, hang on. Cancel. I'm a little out of practice here. Design ship, minesweeper. I don't remember the last time, so we're just going to auto auto design ship. So somebody told me that you can have armor on a minesweeper. Like... Fire control is not the best type. You can, you can, you can like up gun these things. Like make them faster too. You can, you can make it, let's see, is it no fire, can, the ship has no fire control positions? So put a fire control computer on it. Can we make it a little bit larger? I don't know what the designer... Yeah, there's no... It, 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 it says there's nothing wrong with this design. Okay, here here we have uh, an error. Are smaller than 1,800 tons, no more than 2 inches of belt armor, have main guns smaller than 6 inches, and no torpedoes. No more than 2 inches, smaller than 6 inches. So 5 inches is the biggest. Too many mounts will affect rate of fire. Too many mounts. All right, so these guns, it's, it's really saying. All right, so it does not like guns that big. So three-inch guns are perfectly fine. Can we up the quality now? What is the range on these? 8,000, increased elevation. 80, uh, see, that's not a big deal. But you can armor them. Can you mine? Can You can't give them mines. But you can definitely make them... Uh, so I could go up to two inches on this, and it won't throw me an error. Two inches of belt... Yeah, that really... I don't think we could do half an inch. No, we can't do half an inch there. And... So, three inch... Clear turrets. Clear all turret. Add turret. Add... Will it, put, will it let me put... Forward and aft double turrets on this thing? No. No. So we're going to... Um, decrease guns, decrease guns. So that's fine. Okay. Give the turrets some armor. Turret tops. Make these things little... Little beasts. Give him uh, some deck armor. Conning tower. A few inches. Now we're at 600 tons on this thing. So this would have to be a thousand ton minesweeper to do that. So that's maybe... Maybe no nothing there. Deck. Can we do half an inch on the deck? No. So deck zero. Now we can, yeah, that's that's way too big. That just makes it ridiculous in proportions. 
I didn't know you can. Someone told me this, and which is cool. I didn't know you can armor these things. You can armor them. You can make. I can make them faster. I don't think the uh, okay. Deck conning tower. I can make the top turrets. Turret top. Two inches all around. Then I can go. The conning tower is like. <laughs> 12 inch. God, that's ridiculous. Let's do like six inches, and I think I can get use. I can get another knot out of this thing. All right. So we're we're making new minesweepers that are stupid. I, I somebody told me you could do this, and I didn't really think it was a. Th I didn't really think you could, but you can. Let's build more of these. Uh, and something we're gonna have to put on. Oh, those are gonna finish. Let's just halt construction of, like, one destroyer. And then, what are we? We're short two on Coastal Patrol. Means these... We're gonna have to put some of these other guys on, on CP. Okay. Uh, CP. Destroyer shouldn't be on CP, but... That's what we got now, unrestricted. Grand Bahama, the BB Albert S. Johnson's finished reconstruction. Robert E. Lee sunk a U.S. minesweeper. We lost two subs. U.S. lost one. U.S. merchant. We lost a couple. Ooh! Large battle. Seven BBs. That that's that's basically saying our entire fleet is engaged here. But they've got seven battleships and seven battle cruisers. I'm gonna accept this shit. I'm gonna see what happens. Oh fuck me! You know what that means? There's the fact that it says unknown ship sighted in a large battle before it's even loaded in. Uh, this is probably gonna be a night engagement. Ah, partly cloudy, windy. Uh, it is one. 50 in the morning right now. And these ships have just... these. I have four destroyers I could see. And my two battleships here. I'm going to... It looks like they're heading that way. I'm going to immediately heal off to port. Alright, torpedoes are going. Enemy... Oh, they're, it's their transport ships, so... Oh, God, our... our, our our ships are just... F oh my god, look at that f spread of torpedoes! Oh, I love it! Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, it's taking it all game. But look at that, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight torpedoes just in this huge spread. I can't... and we lost... we lost sight. Unsighted, hit by torpedo. That was... that must have been... yeah, look at those things. I to say. Um... Where's the coastline? All right, we're gonna be heading back up towards uh, uh, Norfolk, uh, Virginia here. But I mean, Jesus, I don't know what the hell any of that. What I don't know what we hit, but I am not doing a night engagement. Well, actually, you know what? Fuck this shit. We have we have torpedo supremacy here. Squad Max. Take my destroyers and so let's see. Let's let the battleships retire and see if we can't stumble into this again. Because we have these nice new destroyers. Oh, fuck. I was to say, I, what I was really hoping is that I would be able to get them to get a night attack on some battle cruisers there. This guy. Torpedoes. Uh, maybe, maybe he could get some torpedoes off. No, he's under AI control. Can't do anything. Nothing, nothing I can do about that. Uh so the torpedoes hit a couple things. I sank two transports, which apparently was my goal. Uh, and I got damage to one one of my destroyers, but that's it. All right, let's just let's just get out of here. 
As soon as I saw it was a night battle, I was like, mother fucker. But no, no, actually, that that went well. My uh, Between the good, good tech... It doesn't look like I'm going to lose anything. I'm okay with that. I am I am really okay with that. Did you see that that spread of torpedoes was absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. I'm not upset with the way that worked out at all. Come back to uh, Virginia here. One destroyer was damaged but they repaired. Okay, so um sunk three auxiliaries and a submarine, and damaged two destroyers. I'm gonna take that as a win. How do we sink that? We must have, I mean, there must have been a sub on, like, fleet duty that we accidentally hit with a torpedo or something. But, uh, funds under construction, so you resume. Uh, I'm gonna build ship. So, my newest destroyer is the Bufla. And I'm gonna throw out another ten of these motherfuckers. Because those are just absolutely wonderful. What do we do? Handle it qu quietly and discreetly. Sank a destroyer. Okay. A heavy cruiser and light cruiser versus a heavy cruiser and light cruisers. Okay. Well, I mean, what do we got over here? We've got... Oh, so I'm just going to have the Huntsville, which is one of the new ones, and the Bio City, which is... Again, these are brand new ships. Okay, so I'm okay with that. They're probably going to be out searching for uh, convoys. So I'm just going to head over this way, put this up, and see if anything appears... Out here. Huh. Oh, there we go. Let's turn around, head in this way. So they were over that way. They're attacking a transport. Whoever is over here. So their course was taking them this way. And let's see if we can come across them. I'm pretty happy uh, with the combat potential of these light cruisers. So we're gonna. It, it's it, it's he's got a, it's got him sighted right in here near Pensacola, a battleship. It could have been a miss sighting on a cruiser though. Four battleships, a, a cruiser, and a lake. I don't think that's right. Well, there's something. It's a light cruiser. There we go. So I'm I'm thinking it was miss sightings is what we came across is what happened there. So let's put this down to like slow. see what we're working with. 10 5-inch guns and single turrets. 12 4-inch guns. Man, they got weird designs here, I would say. Um, but we'll just let these guys do their thing. My 6-inch guns should outrange them and outdamage them and outpenetrate them. So. Let's just hope for the best here in terms of getting our hits in. Nothing yet. Oh, already jammed, already got a jammed turret. There. So what is the, the speed? We got 29 knots, 27 knots. So they're moving at 27. This is my gun range. So out of gun range, so we got to move in if we're going to, if we want to try to chase them down. All right, let's speed this back up then. Oh, that was a mistake, you fuckers. Alright, starting to get hits in. First hit, uh, ooh. What one was that? That was... Okay, we're, we're getting hits in on this guy. Um, they've got all these turrets, and I'm kind of hoping that these six-inch six guns will start knocking out some of their turrets, but it looks like I was hitting with... Oh, there we go. Huntsville 4 slash F hull hit. 
Yeah, we got there. We got the range now. Got a turn here. Hitting them both. We took a medium hit. And nothing. Good. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Starting to knock out their turrets. That's the, the, the bad thing about having all these, these so many turrets. It's really easy to get them damaged. Because generally they're going to be, if they're not in, if they're in turrets, that's one thing. If they're in, they're just in like open uh, sponsons or uh, 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 casements. It's funny, I'm hitting the ones on the, on the non, on the, on the lee side, on the non-engaged side. Alright, so that one's taken engine damage and has fallen out of position. So we might be do a, doing a cross in the T situation in a, in a hot second here. We are going to turn up this way. And we're going to try to weave our way in between these two ships now. Oh! Critical hit magazine explosion. Alright, so there's a mag magazine explosion in that ship. And it is dead. This one still managed to make good speed. And the only the only downside of these ships is that because of the way our turrets are set up, uh, the majority of them are on the aft, and that's just because we had um, this is this is a normal and this is a normal um, turret, but this this is super firing and this is super firing. We couldn't we didn't have a uh, four uh, section of super firing turret set up, so. It's not a big deal, but, I mean, it's slightly not optimal. Chicago just took three hits. I'm, I'm not turning yet because I have all my guns firing. Well, I should have all my guns firing. Should I'm about to say, this one's got most of its guns. Alright, yeah, we... The, yeah, now we're not in an optimal, so let's... Not... It was in an optimal position, but not anymore, so... Let's come up on this guy. I think I'm at a point where the United States has a bigger navy, but I think mine's more modern. Yeah, Chicago's getting lit up now. Torpedoes! Uh, I'm gonna call that an error. There's the torpedoes. Missed. I think one of my ships is damaged to the point where it's slowed. And there, that one blew up too. Alright, so, um, they sunk one aux auxiliary ship, medium damage to one cruiser, light damage to the other, but we sunk two light cruisers. So we got a, uh, a, a big victory there. Both ships were destroyed by magazine explosions, so chances are no one survived those, or at least very few people. If you ever read up on um, battles where ships were destroyed by magazine explosions. Generally, the 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 the, the sheer weight of that much like cordite exploding, or I, I don't know, depending on which uh, you know what nation and in in what time period you're talking about, might not be cordite, be something other. But generally, the the, the sheer force of that much um, propellant going off all at once by by concussive force kills almost the entire crew. Generally, only people that survive are people who are lucky enough to be thrown into the water. Uh, but we are just about out of time with that stunning uh, cruiser combat victory. We're going to call it a day here. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for being patient with me while I struggle to get the series back online. Um, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to drop me a like. Leave those comments right down below. And if you are interested in more of this wonderful little game, this diamond in the rough, um, rule the waves, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time.